First we take some water, 620 ml. Make it warm, but not too hot. Add a pinch of sugar, then you stir it well. Add a pack of yeast, 7 grams on the dot. Take another bowl, pour a kilogram of flour. While the yeast starts to wake up. Add a pinch of salt and maybe garlic powder. Then you mix the whole thing up and beat it up. Throw it down onto the table, then you smack it with your fist because there's nothing left to say. Take your anger out and punch your smarmy face until it breaks the gluten bonds and all the lumps have gone away. Hit the dough because you know that even though you have no dough, you're still the one that puts the bread upon the table. And you need to stop eating it for ten minutes or more until your dad is and all the gluten is stable. Load it in the bowl and compartmentalize. Put a cloth over the dough. Put it somewhere warm and wait for it to rise. It'll take an hour or so. When the dough is fluffed like a pillow or a cloud, you should take it out again. If you want to add herbs or spices, you're allowed. You should do that first and then. Beat it up, throw it down onto the table, then unleash all of the fury that they told you wasn't seen. If you want to know the likelihood that bread would make you buff enough to crush a mummy, the answer is extreme. Revenge is sweet as best or cold, but maybe warm and tasty bread will clear your head of the stupidity of people. For if you think about what buttons could survive high temperatures, but then I'll put it in, cause that would be illegal. Cut the dough in two and shape them into rolls. Grease some pans and pop them in. Melt a bit of butter, brush it on the whole thing, and wait an hour again. Bake it at 400 Fahrenheit degrees. 50 minutes tops, they said. Let it cool and slice it up with cheddar cheese. Congratulations, you have made some bread.